Okay, so in the last video, we worked with a mobile app that was based on the original ChatGPT uh, mobile application. And so in this video, what we wanna do is we wanna create a voice powered AI assistant that can connect to our Flowwise chat flows. And so for this project, we're actually using a, another template uh, that you can download uh, from the Flutterflow uh, website that basically is a simple uh, voice powered app. It essentially has a record button and it has a stop button. Uh, and this particular app is actually originally connected to the OpenAI API. Uh, but like the last project, we're actually connecting it to our own uh, Flowwise chat flows. And so, like I said, this is the original project and this is our uh, customized uh, project. This is our customized version. And so it also has the um, record and the stop button but like the previous app, we all wanted to connect it to different chat flows within Flowwise. Uh, and so we have that here. And so this is actually going to connect to a few different uh, chat flows. Uh, we're gonna show you that in a minute. And then we have our reset button uh, because sometimes the responses get a little long. Uh, and then this was basically an option that allowed me to test uh, various LLMs. So if we go ahead and start with the game design chat flow, and we ask it the same question, what are the elements of game design? Here are the elements of game design. One, game mechanics, the rules and systems that govern gameplay. 2. Gameplay loop, the repetitive pattern of gameplay that keeps players engaged. 3. Level design, the creation of individual levels or missions that challenge players. 4. Story and narrative, the way the game tells its... Alright, so sometimes it takes a little while. Uh, this is where you want to actually make sure that you're connected to a, uh, a service that has faster uh, response times, uh, such as Groke or uh, Mr. does a pretty good job. But let's ask another question. What is the importance of story in game design? The importance of story in game design is multifaceted and can have a significant impact on the overall gaming experience. Here are some reasons why story is crucial in game design. Okay. So now let's go ahead and actually check out the uh, the Brave web search chat flow. And this is really cool because you can actually ask it questions based on recent events, you know, because it uses the Brave search API. So let's go ahead and ask, what were some of the highlights at NVIDIA's GTC conference 2024? The highlights of NVIDIA's GTC 2024 conference included Jensen Huang's keynote address on March 18, 2024, discussing the future of AI, the unveiling of new Blackwell architecture GPUs, announcements of new products and updates in the field of artificial intelligence, a glimpse into the future of AI with Jensen Huang's blog post, a deep dive into the conference topics and sessions, a focus on innovation and leadership in the tech industry, a showcase of the latest generative AI and RTX technologies accelerating game development. Highlights. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, answering that question as well. So now let's ask one more. What are the latest features for Unreal Engine in 2024? Based on the tool call output, here are some of the latest features for Unreal Engine in 2024. 1. Nanite Virtualized Indie Unreal Engine 5.4 introduces Nanite Virtualized Indie, a new rendering technology for indie developers. 2. Multi-threading Unreal Engine 5.4 includes improved multi-threading support for better per Okay, so that's the Brave web search, and I really love that feature because you can just, you know, you don't have to rely on embeddings uh, you don't have to rely on the, you know, the knowledge base uh, from the, uh, the model. You can just do a web search, and what it does is it actually will take all of the, uh, the snippets 
uh, from the web search, the excerpts, and then it will use that to create uh, the answer, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. So now let's go to the last uh, chat flow or workflow that we worked on. And this is really the most exciting. Uh, this is the article creator. And so what this does is it allows you to create an article and a YouTube script uh, just using your voice. And, uh, and what, the, what the AI assistant will do is it actually uses uh, multiple agents to research and write your article and script. So let's go ahead and check it out. I would like to create a new article. Of course, I'd be happy to help with that. Could you please provide the purpose or intent of the article and let me know if research is needed? Okay, so it's asking me what is the intent of the article and whether I need to do research. Uh, this particular assistant, you can request research or you can provide your own research. So I like to write an article about using Unreal Engine for uh, film development and special effects. I want to be able to understand how to get started using Unreal Engine in my film projects. Uh, and yes, research is needed. The article on using Unreal Engine for film development and special effects is in progress. It will focus on how Unreal Engine can be used, its key features, and the benefits it offers to filmmakers. Please check your email or the specified platform shortly for the complete article. If you have any additional details or specific aspects you would like to cover, feel free to let me know. All right, so while our assistant is working on our article in video script, let me show you uh, the Flowwise chat flows and see how this is all put together. So the first one is our game design chat flow. And so this is pretty much just a uh, tool that retrieves uh, the answer based on our embeddings. Uh, and so that's fairly straightforward, very simple. And then the next one is our brave web search. And again, this is also a fairly simple um, uh, tool that just calls the brave search API. And so uh, the Brave search results are really good. They're uh, really high quality results. Uh, and so it's a great way to, um, to add, you know, a tool that can connect to the latest uh, news and information. And so the next one is our script creator. And this also calls a, uh, another tool. But in this case, we're actually using NAN to power this particular uh, chat flow. And so as you can see, we've been testing it here. Um, but uh, yeah, this is going to call the NAN workflow, and then uh, that on the back end, which you're going to see, is how everything works together. And then these are the individual uh, chat flows for our articles. So there's a little bit of um, interaction between different chat flows. You can actually use agents within NAN uh, to actually work together as well. So uh, this is the chat flow for the uh, blog article, and then this is the chat flow for the YouTube video script. And you know, th this gives you the opportunity to really work on and optimize like each element so you can really create like a great product at the end. So let's go ahead and check out our N8N script and let's check on our execution here and see where it's coming. And so it's actually already done it seems, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the, um, we're gonna actually look at the workflow itself to show you how it all works. So what happens is, is that when your request comes in, it's going to contain your article plan or intent, you know, what you want to get out of the article, and it's going to include whether you need research. And so at this point, it's going to come to a sort of a decision point uh, when it comes to the research. And if you don't need research, what the AI is going to do is it's actually going to use uh, a Notion page in this case to get the links that we have provided to provide uh, the research, to do the research. But if you do need research, what will happen is, is the entire workflow will, instead of going here, it'll go here, and it will actually go and query another LLM, another uh, agent, uh, in this case using Mistral. And what this does is it actually takes your intent and it actually creates a question that it can use to do a web search. And this question is gonna be based on your article plan here, okay? And so once it has that question, it's going to do a, uh, a web search basically using, um, 
the Brave Search API, and then the, uh, the links from that web search is going to be processed. And essentially what the uh, workflow is going to do is it's going to download uh, each of the pages in the web search results. Uh, it's going to download those web pages and it's going to use that as the research for its article and its uh, YouTube script. So if we zoom out here and we scroll to the right, so it extracts the HTML content from each of the pages. Uh, and then what it does is uh, it actually reduces some of the text. I found that this was helpful for kind of reducing some of the tokens that were used. Uh, I was kind of running up to the limit of my, uh, my token context windows. Uh, but if you have another model, such as Microsoft's fee model, it can actually take up to 128,000 tokens. Uh, and so we'll, we'll actually try that uh, some other time. But uh, for this case, we're using Mistral. And Mistral has a context window of 32,000 tokens. And so if you're just looking at a single web page, uh, usually you don't have any issues. But in this case, uh, we're looking at 18 web pages. So uh, that creates a lot of text and it can easily overwhelm our, our models, uh, especially models that have like a, you know, a context window of like 32,000. Once we send the text to this uh, basic agent, what it will do is it'll actually summarize each and every HTML page uh, for our, uh, our agent that does the article writing, all right? So it summarizes each page, and then those summaries get sent to our, our Flowwise chat flow that actually writes the articles. Uh, that's what you saw here, okay? And so once those articles and the, the video scripts are completed, it actually sends those to a WordPress uh, blog post and it makes it in draft form. Uh, and then it also sends us an email saying that the task is done. So uh, as we already seen, uh, it looks like it already finished the task. So let's go ahead and check our WordPress and see what it did for us. So let's check out the first one. And so it looks like this one is, it looks like this one is the, I think this one is the video. Yes, this is the video one. This is the video script, and it looks pretty good. And so now let's go ahead and check out the article. Okay, so this is the article, and it looks pretty good. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's creating both the article and the video script for us. And by using a, a Brave web search API, you're able to get a lot more research to create high quality content. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. And there are so many different things that you can do to actually improve this uh, and make it even better. You know, one is by adjusting the context window here by changing and testing different models. Uh, so you can actually accommodate for all of the text. Uh, and then the other improvement that you can make is actually in the templates themselves. Uh, especially if you wanna get a certain type of article or a certain type of script, working with the individual prompt templates can really help you improve the, uh, the output of your workflows. So as you can see, there's a variety of different ways that you can connect uh, your Flowwise chat flows to your mobile apps uh, and also your web apps. Um, a lot of these uh, demos that we showed you, uh, you can actually download them to your phone, uh, but because they uh, work with Flutterflow, you can actually create uh, web versions of them as well without really changing a whole lot. Uh, except the, um, the actual screen layout. So go ahead and check this out, and I will see you in the next video.